Welcome back to Takei's Take. The internet has revolutionized just about everything. How we stay in touch with each other. How we spend our free time. I could do this for hours. One more thing that the internet has revolutionized. How we find that special someone. This is Tinder. One of the newest internet dating phrases. Tinder is spreading like an infection. Ew. It's meeting people reduced to its most basic elements. You get a picture, name, and mutual friends. From there, decide whether they're worth your time, swipe right. Or whether you never want to see them again, swipe left. Nope, 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 nope. I'm picky. If a person you like likes you back, Tinder breaks the ice and lets you start a chat. The rest is up to you. Uh, that is how the Klingon lures a mate. In 1992, a company called Electronic Matchmaker introduced a pioneering algorithm which matched a user to potential mates using answers to a questionnaire. This service eventually became Match.com. Niche dating sites began to pop up everywhere. OK Cupid for the younger set. J Date if you're looking for a Jewish doctor. Oh, you're a doctor! Beautifulpeople.com for beautiful people with ugly hearts. Yeah. And personal for people who love cats. And for people with excellent taste in entertainment, there's Star Trek Dating.com. Space. Final frontier. There's even an AARP dating website. It turns out that people over 50 are the largest growing segment of online dating. I'm here with comedian and online dating expert David So. Tell us about uh, online dating. It's, it's really hard to really develop relationships with people when you're when you're so much on the go. Mm -hmm. So what online dating does, um, it, it just allows you to connect with people a lot quicker and a lot easier. Well, now I want you to be honest with me. Okay. Have you tried it yourself, online I, dating? <laughs> I did try online dating for a little bit. It's a little scary because, well, first of all, like you're afraid of if people lie about their profiles, and it's it's worse when two people lie about their profiles, which which was my case. <laughs> Have you lied about your profile? I had to. So <laughs> this is before. What did you What did you say about yourself? That's not truthful. <laughs> well, the first thing you have to do is you have to take a picture of yourself, right? So you have to angle it real high, so you look a lot thinner than you actually are. But when you would angle it down, it's like this is how I normally would look. I share the all the positives. I'm really tall, you know. Uh, Witty. I speak English. <laughs> like just average things that make it sound a lot more interesting than it really is. Well, tell me now, is this a passing uh, fad? I mean, I, I don't think it's a passing fad. For me, do I think that should be the only way to meet people? No, I think it's very impersonal. I remember back in the day when we, when you wanted to date somebody, you had to go to their house, knock on the door, ring the doorbell, ask their parents if you can take them out. How do you do? I'm Bill Jenkins. I've come to call for Helen. Hi, Helen. Gee, you look nice. Well, thank you. Do you like my new dress? Yeah. Well, come on in. That was unnatural. Nowadays, you just shoot a text like, look, come outside, 7 o'clock. <laughs> That's the way we do it today now, yeah. is it? Well, I wish you luck on this. Oh, thank you. Well, I wish myself luck, too. <laughs> <laughs> Studies have shown that having a healthy relationship can improve your mental well-being, bolster your immune system, and even contribute to a longer life. But the truth is, it's hard to meet people. While online dating may seem intimidating, or foreign, or even just silly, it can be a useful tool to meet people. Hey, check it out. I just got a date tonight. So did I. So, is online dating worth your time? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel. And that, my friends, is Takei's Take. Until next time. Move, swipe it forward. Oh, I see. What do you think of the sharing economy? I love the sharing economy.